Yeah, th this is the car. Now it's crazy. This is a this is a uh, short print, but it's a common car, right? But this car, even though it's not hollow at all, it's still worth. What's up, guys, and welcome back to another epic unboxing. In today's video, we actually have two unboxings. Obviously, these are structure decks, but technically it's still the latest structure decks because they haven't released any new ones unless you account account for like maybe the two player structure decks but i'm not counting that in this particular video so this is what we got right now of course we have the fire king structure deck and we have the crimson king structure deck i believe this one came out first this one actually came out back in september 22nd of last year 2023 from this recording session now almost a year ago almost a year ago so this is actually going to be a good idea of what the values are a year later so in terms of the fire king this one actually came out back in december 8th of last year so almost a year later but some there's actually one particular card in here that's actually kind of decent value uh, for a structure deck. Obviously, these are both first editions. But yeah, guys, I'm not sure if you actually pay attention to the background sometimes, but I do like to change around my, my with placements I got going on. But I had these two in the background for many, many months. Um, I moved out here like almost a year ago and I still haven't opened it. And obviously, I picked these up when they first came out, but I just not, we got a chance to do it. But enough rambling, guys. That's enough for the intro. We're gonna go into it. We're not gonna go into like high values per se because a lot of these cards are gonna be the same exact cards regardless. There's no special dice. There's no special promos per whatever you click like multiple. I think there's one, I think the charms structure deck actually had multiple different cards you can get potentially. And that one actually had the initiative to collect more and more of them. But uh, I think they stopped doing that. But yes, let's go into this finally. All right, so this one, we're going to start with this one right now with the Crimson King Structure Deck. Now, obviously, uh, my boy editor, uh, Alexander, he's going to be listing the prices for those high value hollows more so. Um, but uh, yeah, let's go crack it open and see what we get uh, for this. All right. I normally, I normally like to keep it uh, pristine, but uh, what I will say about Structure Decks, especially like the newer Structure Decks, they're not going to retain value for the long haul, I don't think. Like, I could be wrong. Maybe like, you know, 20 years from now, I'll be like, I'll watch this video, but like, man, I was stupid. But regardless, I'm going to crack it open right now, just like so. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, open this and see what we get. All right, we got a play deck there. All right, so yes, before we get into the actual cards right here, let's go into what this looks like. Something I would like to do maybe is do like a, uh, a duel between these two structure decks to see which is, I guess, the winner. Um, but uh, if you guys want to see that, let me know. But I'll put it on this camera right here. This is my main camera because you can actually see the full length of it. Because uh, it's, it's going to be hard to show it on the, the, uh, the drop, drop cam, as I like to call my other camera. But yeah. And of course, this right here. We'll, we'll, we'll zoom in this closer, of course. Check out some of the strategies involved with this. Because um, a, a lot of the modern Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm definitely not great with the, the with the combos. But I'm, I'm trying to get better. I'm trying. To, I'm playing Master Duels right now, trying to get better. But uh, obviously time is always an issue with me. <laughs> Scheduling-wise, of course, because I'm always so busy. But anyway, the basic strategy of the deck is to synchro summon powerful dark dragon monsters using um, re re resonator tuners and level four or lower feed monsters at uh, as the base material. The red dragon arch fiend isn't just important as material for synchro summoning level nine or higher monsters. It can also serve as your main attacker by boosting his power with a spell card, the absolute power force. Also, if you send scarred dragon arch fiend, which is treated as a red dragon arch fiend to the graveyard as a synchro material for the for a monster like red nova dragon you can special summon that red dragon archfiend from the extra deck and destroy attack position monsters on your opponent's side of the field at the same time that sounds beastly deploy powerful synchro monsters on the field one after another and seize victory with overwhelming power all right so this is the combos that they were talking about uh, with the uh, resonant monsters uh, these are level one to three fiend tuners you can add it to your hand by the resident call 
or splice stone from the deck by the effects of the Crimson Resonator. All right. And then uh, you can also do these as well. Many of the monsters have effects that set set up uh, secret monsters, like special summoning themselves from the hand or special summoning from the graveyard, which I think is a pretty normal meta right now. Um, I mean, it definitely is. Definitely is. I know I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm normally a collector, guys, as you guys know, but uh, I definitely like to read and know about the meta as best I can. But uh, it's all about the high values sometimes in this channel, but not always. All right, I'm not, I'm not gonna go to all this right here, but you can always like, uh, you know, pause the video and, and, and read it yourself, zoom in, enhance. Um, and then on the right side here, we have some more combos that we can do here. But uh, yeah, very, very cool, very, very cool. Pause where you need to pause. All right, and then on the left side, which is what I kind of care about as a collector, is the card list. It shows you all this. We're, we're going to go into it more, you know, you know, we're actually going to open it and whatnot, but you know, so I don't have to read it off of you guys and whatnot. But yes, that is that. All right, let's fold that up real nice and let's open up this. Now, these there is a there's a way to open it like cleanly. I do see that line, but how? Oh, there it is. I see it. I see it. I see it. Look at that. Oh, it, that's so so satisfying i love that then just pop that open there we go so obviously uh my boy alexander will pu pulled out the price for these but yeah this is the first car that shows up is the soul resonator ultra rare so let's go ahead and read this off if this card is normal or special summon you can add one level four or lower fiend monster from your deck to your hand except soul resonator also you cannot special summon monsters from the extract for the rest of this turn except dark synchro monsters so <laughs> except so that's why that's useful if the card you control would be destroyed by a card effect while you control red dragon archfiend or a synchro monster that mentions it you could banish this card from the graveyard instead you can use each effect once per turn so yeah that's really cool all right, the next is the Vision Resonator here, Ultra Rare. I'm not going to read this one off, but uh, obviously you, you can kind of pause and read that. The next is the Red Arch Fiend, uh, Red Dragon Arch Fiend. This is one of the boss cards that you want to bring out. Bring them out, bring them out. And then we have the Red Rising Dragon. It looks very beastly. That looks very cool, actually. I like that a lot. And then everyone's king ultra rare. This is the final ultra rare, uh, I believe. And then we, now we have our super rare, the red supernova dragon, the hot red dragon archfiend king, a calamity. Very very cool. Very very cool. And then a scarred dragon archfiend, uh, the card you can uh, synchro summon. Now we're going into our commons here, which I'll kind of skim through pretty quickly here. We have the Bone Archfiend, the Dark Resonator, the Creation Resonator, the Synchron Resonator. Is it blurry? It looks like it's blurry. There we go. Sorry about that. The Red Resonator, the Crimson Resonator. The Fee, the F Vice Dragon, the Battle Fader, the Red Sprinter, the Red Wolf, Wolg, 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 I guess, the Wandering King, uh, Wild Wind, the Phantom King Hydrant, the Magical King Moonstar. The absolute king, back Jack. <laughs> I like that arch, uh, the artwork too. Now uh, the red dragon arch fiend, uh, assault mode, and then the assault beast, the psi reflector, the red ant um, assessor, the assessor uh, Dawn Walker, dragon Nessie. Danger, danger, 
the witch of the black forest of course must be added the absolute power force as they mentioned in the little intro there the crimson gaia the resonator engine the resonator call resonator command the burning soul the pot of extravagance the fiendish golem the red zone the king's synchro the red rain time to stand up the fiendish uh, chain the powerful rebirth the assault mode activate terrors of the overroot a synchro card at the very end here we have the star uh, starlight red dragon arch fiend the heart uh, the hot red so the the non-hollow version i guess arch fiend abyss unless there's a different card another uh, arch fiend bane this time and then the red nova dragon look at all those stars i wonder why did they make this hollow i don't know but regardless that is all that now if you're here for like the the, the total values obviously uh, the editor will have the total value for the the hollows there but um like if you really want the true value apparently is actually this one right here this one actually has uh one card that's worth like five bucks still even to this day um some of you might know what that is already but uh, we'll definitely go into it as we get into the fire kings let's go ahead and unwrap this right here and see what the uh the the i guess the playmat looks like that's the one thing I, I, I will say about the uh, the playmats for Konami. Like even though they, I, I feel like they should be better quality. However, comma they still look pretty cool. Let's not, not open all the way. There we go. All right, let's take a look at some of the, I guess combos from this one, as well as the introduction here. Again, you could pause it if you want to. All right. It says here, destroy your fire kings and harness the power of the uh, uh, re rejuvenation faint, uh, flames to claim victory. The main strategy for this deck is to special summon or destroy cards when your fire king monsters are destroyed. First, destroy a fire attribute monster from your hand or one you control with, with the first effect of the fire king high avatar Karen. So it lets you activate the first effect of the secret Fire King uh, Garu, 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 Garunix to special summon itself, giving you two level eight monsters off the bat. Um, next, uh, XC summon the Garunix Eternity um, of the Fire Kings and destroy all other monsters on the field with its first effect. Then use any other effect to destroy it, triggering its third effect to special summoning back the monsters used as synchro materials. Now use the second. This, this is kind of confusing. I guess uh, you have to kind of read the card because um, you know how some cards have like three or four effects. Apparently, this one has three effects. But um, like, I just want to look at. I just want to look at it right now. But uh, yeah, you can just you can just kind of roll through real quick. You can kind of uh, pause and read it as you see fit. For those who that haven't ma made the purchase yet and just you know curious to see what's inside. Uh, that's that's kind of like why i do slow, these slower videos for those that are curious to see what inside before they actually make the purchase but if you're a collector like uh, like myself um like uh you, you kind of just want to have it in your binders but if you're looking for an, an more like investment probably not the greatest investment as i mentioned before because um there's there's better structure decks for investment purposes normally they're like the original like the star deck kaibas star deck yugis um, maybe even like the pegasus star decks as well as the joey star decks those actually might be worth some money uh if you're trying to use that more of an investment opportunity but for these newer structure decks probably not so much now it shows you like what you can power up with other decks like age overlord duos nexus uh, uh cyberstorm axis and the proton hypernova but uh yeah i did do a video on the age overload so definitely check that video right over there uh, but that is uh one of the supports you can use to power up with the packs all right let's go into this right here this bad boy all right oh i love that i love that 
It's not a super clean one, but it's still pretty damn clean. Pretty damn clean. All right, let's look at the, the hollows right now. We have the Sacred Fire King Garunix. And then we have the Fire King High Avatar Karen, as they mentioned from the combos. And then we have the Fire King Avatar Rang Bali. The Fire King Sanctuary. And the Grunix Eternity. So I kind of want to read this one because I believe, no. Which one the, was the one with the multiple effects? I believe it was this one, maybe. I'm not seeing it right now, so it's probably not that the, not the one. But this is the uh, Garudix Eternity. Uh, Ho, 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 Yang? 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 <laughs> of the Fire Kings. And then we have the Super Rare here of the Fire King Sky Burn. And then the uh, es Escalon? Escalane? Escalon? Echelon, I guess, of the Fire King. How, how you pronounce that? Let me know in the comments. The Legendary Fire King of uh, Phonix. The Fire King Avatar. Okay, so this is uh, one of the cards they mentioned, I believe. The Grunix. The Fire King Avatar Brong. Oh, upside down. What the? What? Jeez. <laughs> Who packed this? Who packed this? <laughs> We have the Fire King Avatar Yarsha, the Fire King Avatar Karen, the Blaster Dragon Ruler of the Infernos, the Burner Dragon Ruler of the Sparks, the Coach Captain Bearman, the Coach Soldier Wolf Bark. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot, actually. The True King of the Vanisher. Look at that. Look at those stars. The Infernal Flame Emperor. Just all kinds of flames with it. Uh, D Dogoran, the Mad Flame Kaju. And then the Blazing Mars. The Bonfire Colossus. I wonder if the, uh, the other Bonfire card will, like, will be... But I would assume it would be useful here. We have the Bonfire card. Um... The Sacred Phoenix of Niffins, I believe. The Royal Firestorm Guards. The Spirit of Flames. Words I can actually pronounce. The Fencing Fire Feral. And we go back upside down. Oh my god, okay. The Fire Bl Bran uh, Hemis, Hemis, Hemis. Ooh, Alpha, the, the Master of the Beast makes a, a return here. Ooh, the Droll Lockbird. The Onslaught of the Fire Kings. The Circles of the Fire Kings. Rekindling. Very cute card. Fire Formation. Tenki. The Dark Hole. Ooh, that's a classic right there. Trade in another classic card. Herald of the Abyss. The Flame Well Counter. The Spiritual Fire Art. Okay. The Chain Destruction card. Torrential Tribute. Solemn Judgment. I believe this is the card that actually is worth kind of decent. One second. No, no, we're not, we're not there yet. All right. We have the Solemn Judgment. Yeah, th this is the card. Now, what's crazy, this is a, this is a uh, short print. Actually, most of these are short prints, I think. But it's a common card, right? But this card, even though it's not hollow at all, it's still worth, of course it is, $5.95. So, wow. Wow. We have the Power Sink Stone. The Crown, uh, Coach King Giant Trainer. The uh, Diamond Di uh, Dire Wolf. Hayata, the Fire Charmer Ablaze. The Fire King High Avatar Garunix. The Fire King Avatar uh, Arvartar. And the Fire King Island Field Spell Card. All right, so that concludes the two structure decks that have been, I guess, released within the year time frame. Now, like, the only card that was really worth much was that uh, Infinite Imprints. But uh, in terms of the high value from the other card, 
from the, the the Crimson King side. Um, some of the common cards that are worth high that I didn't really show t showcase too much. Crimson Gaia from the Crimson King uh, structure deck. That's two dollars and sixty seven cents. And the other high value that's over a dollar is the Vision Resonator at a dollar sixty. But that's the uh, ultra rare so that's over a dollar the rest are like kind of around the dollar mark but now as i mentioned before these are not investment cards but uh, definitely a good collector card so definitely if you're, if you're into collecting first editions like i am add to the binders protect them as you as you will collect them but i think most of the time most people most average people probably will actually duel them so if you guys want to see me duel with these two structure decks i don't know how Maybe I'll find a buddy of mine that can, that can run the deck with me and, and battle it out. Um, preferably someone who's in the same level as me, maybe. But nevertheless, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this. Definitely check out the structure decks if you guys are into it and haven't picked it up yet. But um, these are actually kind of decent, especially the Fire King deck, I believe. For some reason, I'm hearing a lot of good things from there. Even though, actually both of them, really. But even though I haven't actually used them myself. Now, I, I believe the Crimson King structure deck is, might be a bit easier for me to kind of grasp, understand a bit more than the Fire King deck. But I think if you know how to use it, you will definitely be decent with it. But uh, give or take, my level is probably like, like if, if level 100 is the max, I'll be, I'm like, <laughs> maybe level seven, maybe level five, I don't know. But I'm, I'm trying to get better with Master Duels. But yeah, guys, definitely check out this structure deck right here. This is the Trap Tricks structure deck. Try to say that five times fast and not stutter like me. But that was a cool video right there. Obviously, another, another thing to add to your collection for those who are just collectors. And the love of Yu-Gi-Oh! But anyway, my name is Tiles. I'll see you next time. Peace.